So I want to go over the three stretches that I like for everybody to do in the morning. The first one, you're going to spread your knees wide and you're going to get on all fours and you're just going to sit back and breathe in and then you're going to move forward and exhale, breathe out. So right here, you're breathing in, inhaling, and then when you go forward, you'll breathe out and exhale. When I go back, I'm sitting back, my back is concave, I'm looking up with my eyes. When I go forward, I touch my chin to my chest. So what we're trying to do with this is change the shape of your spine. You know, don't obsess over it, but it might be a good idea to have somebody watch you and critique you a little bit, because sometimes in the beginning, if, you're, if you can't see yourself, it's a little difficult, but all you're trying to do is mobilize your spine. The second thing we did is they call these downward facing dogs. So you're just going comfortably into this position, be careful with your wrist, and then you're just coming down to your knees, and you can look up here and go in that direction as far as it feels comfortable. Here, you're just trying to get your arms overhead and pump your calves a little bit, and you're just trying to go back and forth. This is gonna work the shoulder sockets, the spine. I kind of move around a little bit side to side. You're just using these to stretch out. Right here, you would probably exhale, and then when you go forward, probably inhale there. But don't obsess over that. The big deal is just to do this. There shouldn't be any pain. Be careful with your wrist. Mobilize your feet and your calves and just, you're just trying to stretch out. Don't overthink anything and take your time with all of these. We've got one more to go after this. Uh, and this last one, we're basically going to stretch out the hips. All you're gonna do is you're gonna come up Carefully bring your foot out to the side. Your foot should be flat on the bent leg, and you're just gonna move. Find an area that's a little bit tight and just kind of move out. If you want to, you could pick that hand up nearest the leg, and you could push out on it a little bit. That's gonna put a lot of weight on the other arm, though, so if that's too much on your wrist, your hand, you might not do this. You could keep both hands down. But your back knee, the straight leg, it can the knee can come off the ground. It can also stay on the ground. You can do any which way, but obviously you're going to work both sides of the body and just come back to the knees. See, I'm bringing my leg out there. I'm leaving my knee on the ground. Like I said, you can pick the knee up, the back knee if you want, and it just makes it a little bit more of a stretch, but either way is fine. The main idea on all three of these is you do them, do about 10 reps on each of them, move slow, breathe deeply. Nothing should hurt. This is to hopefully just get you to move better and feel better and uh, just do it with a nice positive mind. And uh, yeah, don't make anything too hard. If you have any questions, write me at any time. And uh, I hope this will make you feel better.